after creating the Genoma rig in layout, I've saved the scene and the scene is called Robot Kyle LWS. Let's say I want more than one rig in the same scene. What I normally do in Lightwave is to use the load items from scene and select Robot Kyle WS. So now I can select what I want and don't want to load. Hit OK and get a second character loaded in the same scene. At first glance everything looks OK. But let's see if all the controls are working properly. Let's start checking the bone rotation of both characters. And it's working, no problem. Let's check the, the IK for on, on the arms, for example. So let's activate the IK and we can notice that it's not working. Let's see on the other character if we have the same problem. Yeah, here is working fine. But it looks like we've lost one of the two characters functionality. So since the IKFK switch is working fine on one character and not on the other, and being the switch based on math expressions, we can deduce that math expressions are the problem here. We don't have this kind of problem with Genoma 1 rig since no expressions are used there. But in Genoma 2 you can now automatically create math expressions. So let's take a look at those in the graph editor. As you can see, each expression name created by Genoma2 has a prefix. This prefix is the name of the object we're using. In this case, Space Robot Kyle LW. This is automatically added by, by Genoma2. When we use load items from scene to load the same rig we already have in the scene, in the current scene, the meta expressions with the same name are overwritten. And that's exactly the problem we're facing in this situation. We should have twice the number of expressions we're seeing here. Instead, we have just one set that, of course, can manage just one of the two characters correctly. Editing the LWS using a, a simple text editor could be a solution you could manually rename the expressions. So let's fix this problem first. Let's clear the scene and let's go back in Modeler. I'm going to save this object with a new name, something like Space Robot Kyle LW02. Let's send it to Layout And let's create the rig. If we take a look at the expression names now, we can see that the prefix is space robot Kai LW02, exactly the name of our new object. If we open the graph editor, we can see that the name now of each expression is changed. Now we have space robot Kyle LW02 as a prefix which is exactly the name of our new object. So let's save this rig as Robot Kyle 02 and let's use load items from scene again this time loading Robot Kyle We can now see we have two different set of expressions space robot Kyle LW and space robot Kyle W02 so are all our problems solved now? not yet if we check some expression we can see how they're not validated which means they are not actually working this happens because the items 
involved in the math expressions have been uh, renamed by the load items from scene process. To better understand what's happening, let's clear the scene. I'm going to create a null and I'll save a scene called null. Of course the name of the item now is null, but if I use load items from scene to load the scene again and take a look at the list of the objects in the scene at the moment, we can see the, there's no more uh, any item called null. It's just null 1 and null 2. So as you can imagine, math expression can be somehow confused by this behavior. But again, we can solve this pretty easily. Let's load robotkyle02 again. I wrote a special script that can solve this renaming problem. You can download it from the 3DXYZ website by Steven Scott. It is extremely simple and it can work only with this specific preset. All you have to do is to execute the script as the genoma rigging process has handed. Let's select L script and this is the name of the script, rename IKFK controls genoma 2 unity. Fast and very simple. What it does is renaming the items involved in the IKFK mechanism. So if we take a look at the graph editor now, we can see the controls have a prefix added, which is again the name of the object. So let's try to use load items from scene this time to load robotkyle1. I'm going to move it. We can check the expressions. They are all there, all validated. Well, let's verify if everything works as it should. To do that, I'm going to select the bonds in the legs and in the arms and just change the position a little bit. Oops, of course I have to do that separately. Okay, and now We can verify that the IKFK switch is working for the arms of the first character, for the legs of the first character, for the arms of the second character, and for the legs of the second character. So, problem solved. If more than two characters are needed in the same scene, all we have to do is to repeat the whole process so we need to rename the character in modeler before generating the rig and just after the rig generation we need to use the script. In the next video we'll see how to import in Unity the rig we made in Lightwave and how to apply some very simple animations to it using the mechanism system. Thanks for watching.